Hey everybody, this is Pedro Gomez from Drew Estate. In this episode, we are going to check out one of the Miami's favorite Cuban restaurants, Havana 1957. Go through prime cigars and whiskey bar, and all while smoking some underground song. All this and more on Go the Distance with Pedro. Miami is very well known for his beautiful beaches, yummy food, badass parties, and bright weather with clear blue skies. Here you will find beautiful blend of culture from all over Latin America. This is by far the most worldwide tourism destination because it has it all. Each neighborhood has its own microculture. Take as an example, South Beach. Now, South Beach is the place to go if you are going on vacation. Another spot is Ocean Drive, the easternmost street in South Beach. The street stretched 15 blocks of jaw-dropping deco architecture, tiki bars, and Gianni Versace former mansion. So once you cross the street, you're gonna be right in the beach. One way or another, you will end up in South Beach with a drink in your hand and a cigar in the other. So what about this cigar, my friend? This cigar is the Underground Sun Ground. You cannot find a better cigar to smoke in Miami. With the Underground Sun Ground, the company returned to some of the elements found in the original, but select a Sun Ground Ecuadoria wrapper to sit on top of a Connecticut River Valley stock cut Habano binder and fillers from Nicaragua, which includes a leaf of a extensively aged Lijero from a region of Nicaragua known as Nueva Segovia. It gets own look as well, as it comes dressed in bands of sexy red and elegant gold colors. As I said earlier, Miami is very well known for his food, so follow me this way. So today, we are going to visit Havana 1957 restaurant, which is located on Española Way in Washington Avenue. I'm going to meet with Raul, who is the manager of this incredible spot. This restaurant serves some of the finest Cuban cuisine in all of Miami. They have delicious food menu, some tap nash cocktail drinks, and it goes without saying the world-class customer service. So Raul, tell us the story about this place. Well, this is a very special place. This is uh, how we brought Havana culture, Havana food, Cuban food, I have to say, to Miami. Miami is also called the Magic City. Okay, yes. Everybody knows it. And this is a magic place in the magic city. My man! Once you come in, we provide an experience. We provide a, a, a magical place that transports you to what Havana used to be in the 50s, which is the golden era of Havana. And the whole intention was to bring authentic uh, Cuban food to Miami with the feel and the decor, as you can see. That's right. No, this place is beautiful, man. It has a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, culture from Cuba. I'm very thrilled. And if you see a lot of details, a lot of pictures from great singers, let's say La Cruz, uh, it's a lot of a lot of history. That is uh, nice. Everywhere and every wall. And as you can see, you can also go ahead and sign uh, the walls and okay. have a little piece of our restaurant <laughs> in your heart. Absolutely, man. Now, one thing that you guys are very well known of is with the mojitos. What is the perfect or what is the secret recipe to make a good mojito? Okay, to make a good mojito, what it takes is balance. Okay. Like every good recipe is the balance between the ingredients. So what See, are we drinking right there? Well, you, you're drinking right now the passion fruit mojito. Okay. Too much passion fruit is bad. So you have to have the right balance between the lime, the sugar, the passion fruit, so everything tastes perfectly uh, balanced and well. Very nice. So let me so be the judge. Do that. Oh my God, it's is so it? good. So well balanced. You got all the flavors in my tongue. So good. And the final touch is the mint. The good. mint will give that freshness. My man. You feel it, right? Yes. <laughs> we know how to do it. We know how to do it. <laughs> all right, well, one thing that I'm very aware of the food in Havana 1957 is the bomb. You 
tried it before, so I know you know. <laughs> so what is the most popular dish in your menu? Okay, you're looking right at it. It's okay. the chicken Havana. It's named after our, our restaurant, Havana 1957 Chicken. And it's excellent. Marinated for 36 hours. Oh my God. It's slowly uh, roasted for two hours and a half. Served with white rice, wonderful black beans, roasted potatoes, sweet plantains, and gravy on top. Oh my God. To die for. <laughs> it's our signature dish. That's your signature dish. Well, I'm sold right now. That's what I'm going to get. That's what you're going to get today. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Now it's time to get busy. Is South Beach seems too wild for your blood, but you still want to experience a walk a bit on the more chill side, then downtown is the place to go. It's going to be a perfect blend of South Beach and a big city vibe. It is definitely a popular spot among young professionals. We are now heading over to one of the Miami top cigar bars, known as a Casa de Monte Cristo by Prime Cigars and Whiskey Bar, which is located in South Miami Avenue and Southwest 11th Street in downtown Miami. This place by far is one of the most classic, most banging cigar spot in Brickell. This place is like sheer. But for cigar lovers, everybody will know your name and everybody will treat you like family. If you want to have a world-class drink and a great Drew Estate cigar, this is the place to be. They have a full bar and a good selection of premium cigars, ranging from Dominican, Honduras, and of course, my favorite, Nicaragua. Am I biased? Hell yeah! I am going to sit down with Shia, who is the store manager, and we are going to have first-rate cocktail and a sectional cigar. So what's going on, Shia? What's happening, brother? How Everything's are you? good? Yeah, everything's wonderful. That is nice, man. So what can you tell us about Prime Cigars and Whiskey Bar? All right, so let's start at the beginning. This is uh, almost 10 years in the making. Uh, it was a passion project from a collection of uh, cigar lovers. Uh, and it was also a tribute to um, uh, our, one of our primary owner's fathers. The name Prime Cigar actually comes from, that was his tagline when he was really enjoying a cigar. This is a Prime Cigar. And that philosophy is really about what we do. It's, it's, everything is, is designed to enhance the experience that's curated around this. One thing that I love about this place, as soon as you walk into this place, one, it is one of the most classic places very distinguished from everything that I have seen all over the United States. What are the things that people love about this badass place? Well, first I have to thank you, because I know that you have traveled basically all over the United States, so for us to be on that kind of a level, that means a lot to me, I appreciate that. And I mean, it's, 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 and that's exactly what you said, is, is, is we try and do everything unique to a higher level. Um, it's really, for us, it's really about the experience um, and, and the memories that are made in this place. Um, so the, the, the cigars and the whiskeys are really our tool, but the experience is our model. That's awesome, man. Now, if you can relate this place to Miami, Miami is a very beautiful city. It's called Magic City. So you personal, what do you like about Miami? Okay, so the beauty by far, yeah, that's definitely it. The ocean runs through my blood, um, but more importantly, um, as a almost lifelong cigar smoker, it started at a young age. Um, the fact that the culture and the art of this city kind of shines through everywhere, um, and included in that is the, the cigar and the tobacco culture. It's a perfect home for us. That's awesome, man. It's very interesting that you mentioned cigar and tobacco. So we work for Drew Stay, which is a cigar company. So out of all the cigars that we make in Esteli, Nicaragua, which one is your favorite Drew Stay cigar? All right, so if you're gonna hold me down and I have to pick a favorite, uh, coincidentally, this, this Sun Grown Undercrown is definitely in my rotation. Uh, this is a cigar that I smoke on a regular basis. Uh, it's, a, it's an any type of day cigar for me. Uh, it holds up to a, a big meal or a big drink. It's also something I can start the day with. Great flavor. This is definitely one of them. I mean, you say it's super nice and beautiful. Now, to me, when I'm smoking a cigar, I also like to drink some. So what are we drinking tonight? Ah, so we have a treat, right? It's, it's become our signature drink. Um, we do a smoked old-fashioned, 
being a whiskey bar with several hundred whiskeys, uh, it's our own twist on it. So we actually use some barrel pieces. We're gonna smoke the, smoke the barrel through the glass and kind of bring that fusion of, of, of smoke and whiskey into the drink itself. I'm mad. I just feel just like a head. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way it's supposed to be. Man, let's rock and roll. Yeah, perfect. I don't know about you, but it has been an incredible journey here in Miami. I'm finishing off my day smoking the underground sun ground. This is Pedro Gomez signing off until next time.